Hi, I'm Connie Siu. Welcome to the series on performance measurement. After crunching all the numbers and doing the analysis, it is always a good idea to do a reasonableness test. Let me explain the value in doing so. First, you gain confidence on the results presented. For example, the average number of days to assign a site inspection work order worked out to be three days. In validating the three days, you estimated that gathering the information on that work order will take a day. The review and assignment of the inspection will take another day or so. That makes the three days reasonable. The test helps you gain confidence on the quality of the analysis. Second, you uncover new insights. Following the above example, let's say the average number of days worked out to be five. And using the same estimation logic, you figure that the five days is too long. In this case, you would dive in and figure out what caused the swing. The issue could be poor data or anomalies that should be excluded from the analysis. The reasonableness test helps you identify unusual situations that you should be aware of and fix. By doing a reasonableness test, you get peace of mind on the quality of the analysis. And with that, you will feel more confident about the decisions you're going to make with the results presented. Thank you for watching. I'm Connie Sue.